I mentioned in the previous video that you need to save your sheet lists when you're publishing in AutoCAD. It does save time, it saves you having to go in and change all the sheet listing later on. So what we're going to look at first is just saving our sheet list and where we're going to save it to. Again, usual drawing procedure, I've got the complete drawing there, you need saving sheet lists .dwg. So let's have a look now at how we save our sheet list. We click on the batch plot icon in the output tab on the ribbon and that brings up the publish dialog box. Now I haven't set any settings yet but what I'm going to do is save my sheet list by using this save icon up here and it creates what they call a DSD file which is a drawing sheet directory file. So I click there, ask me where I want to save it, so I'll save that in the appropriate folder which is going to be my drawings folder there and as you can see I'm going to name it the same as the drawing. So it's 08 saving sheet list complete DSD and I click on save and that will save that and there it is in the sheet list pull down there. So what it means is I can go back to that DSD file anytime and it will open up this particular sheet list. Now we are going to edit that sheet list as we work through these videos but you'll see that as we go and we'll save as we go to make sure those changes are saved. But that is how you save your sheet lists when you're publishing in AutoCAD.